Good evening, I'm Cooper Henkel. A Rhinelander community project recently received a donation of $100,000 from the General Federation of Women's Clubs. The Hodeg Park stage will cost roughly $400,000 once complete. The donation from the Women's Club leaves just $72,000 left to go. The plan for the new stage is to allow anyone to use it in order to hold all kinds of events at the park, as opposed to other locations that are similar but are sometimes locked up or require other permission to use. Leadership says the new stage will be more accessible to members of the community. So Andy, when is that weather actually going to be hitting us? Yeah, Cooper, it won't be until middle parts of the week that we do have a change in our weather pattern on the way. But what we will have for the next couple of days before then will be even warmer temperatures than we were today. OK, today we had many areas in those middle 60s. Tomorrow we'll have a chance for some areas to touch 70 degrees and we'll do that again for the next day. Now I do want to turn your attention over to those lows that we were hitting from overnight last night into our Sunday morning. Some areas did get into the 20s last night. Okay, so a lot of areas getting near freezing. We'll do that again overnight tonight. There are uh, those frost advisories posted currently. We'll take a look at that coming up. But for now, I'll leave you with your three-day forecast, seeing a couple of sunny days ahead until that change comes on Wednesday with our next rain chance. Cooper? Thanks, Andrew. Last week was a rough one for COVID numbers in the state. Testing continues to remain high from this summer, with roughly three times the positive cases we saw back in April. The actual number of COVID-19 cases is actually four times higher than back in spring. Data shows that new infections are largely among unvaccinated people, and deaths, which are also four times higher than six months ago, are almost exclusively among unvaccinated people. Hospitals remain over capacity in the state. Nearly half of hospitals in Wisconsin are at peak capacity. Three out of every five ICUs are maxed out as well. Less than 10% of beds are available anywhere in the state. Hospitalization continues to increase in the less vaccinated parts of the state. There has been a slight drop in ICU beds occupied, but a continued climb overall in hospitalizations. Vaccination rates continue to lag behind that with little change despite continued efforts from public health officials. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer held a press conference today discussing steps the TSA can take to prepare for the upcoming Thanksgiving holiday travel season as a number of their workers still remain unvaccinated. Workers have until November 22nd to be fully vaccinated, which is right before the busy Thanksgiving holiday travel period. Schumer says they have a plan if more agents don't get vaccinated. So the message today, if the T TSA lags and jabs, send in the dogs. The visible intermodal prevention and response teams, better known as Viper canine units, would help vaccinated agents more effectively and efficiently screen for explosives, according to Schumer. Making sure Americans are ready to travel this holiday season appears to be a priority for the senator. We can't have the people worried about the holiday season travel. We have to assure them that it's going to be smooth. The dogs are important. We're also asking TSA to redouble their efforts on asking their membership to get vaccines. There is no reason on God's green earth why anyone, let alone a TSA agent, shouldn't have a vaccine. According to the TSA, at least 40% of its workers are unvaccinated against COVID-19. Residents and local organizations in Milwaukee took to the streets yesterday to promote peace and an end to the ongoing violence in the city. They have one message. People of all ages participated in the Peach March to honor the numerous lives lost due to gun violence. Even some family members of victims joined in, remembering the lives of those who are now gone. It ended with a closing rally hosted with violence prevention resources available to marchers. According to Milwaukee police, there have been 152 homicides and at least 710 non-fatal shootings in the city through October 10th of this year, which is more than double the rates in 2019 in that same time frame. Police are investigating a shooting at a mall in Flint yesterday that left two people critically injured. A group of people got into a fight and things escalated. According to police, someone in the fight pulled out a gun and started firing. Two people were struck and transported to nearby hospitals. They're said to be in serious condition. Police have not revealed how many suspects they're searching for. They say it is not an active shooter situation. 
A report of domestic violence in Arkansas ended with three people dead and a police officer injured in the line of duty early Sunday. It started when a Fort Smith police officer responded to a residence to find a female stabbed to death and a teenager dying from knife wounds. The suspect then turned his knife on the policeman, slashing his throat, forcing the wounded officer to draw his weapon. And Emma Claybrook has the rest of that story. When unimaginable tragedies like this happen, we're all left scared, angry, frustrated, sometimes hopeless. Early Sunday morning, police officers arrived at a home on Tillis Avenue after getting a 911 call. Chief Danny Baker with Fort Smith Police says they found 40-year-old Christopher Connor beating his 15-year-old son in the face and head with a brick. The officer ordered Mr. Connor to stop. Connor initially appeared to comply. The officer approached Connor to place him in restraints, and Connor produced an edged weapon, slicing the officer's throat and neck. The officer fired two shots from his service weapon, striking Connor, killing him, and ending the threat. The 15-year-old male was rushed to a local hospital where he was pronounced dead. The child had sustained multiple stab wounds and blunt force trauma. When officers entered the home, they found 42-year-old Julie Marie Moore dead. Police say she had been stabbed multiple times. Police also found a 5-year-old child in the home unharmed. This child is currently in the care of the family. I have no doubt that our officer's swift actions saved this young child's life. People who live on Tillis Avenue say their neighborhood is safe and nothing like this has ever happened before. We spoke to one neighbor who says he saw police on the scene this morning. You don't expect to like come out your house on a like Sunday morning and to see those those scenes, you know, it's something that you're not used to and something that you definitely don't want to get used to. It's just it's not a good feeling. To wake up and, and have all the everybody going crazy, like, yo, did you hear this? Did you hear that? And everybody's trying to put, like, two and two together. They're getting five. It's just, it, it's honestly, like, really, really, really stressing, to say the least. Chief Baker says the department is thankful for officers who put their lives on the line to protect the people of Fort Smith. And they're also thankful for the community that always pulls together when tragedy strikes. No one believes in the sanctity of life more than the men and women of the Fort Smith Police Department. Each one of us are sworn to protect it at all costs. So it hurts us as much as it does each of you when an outcome like this is unavoidable. Andrew will be back with our last look at warm temperatures. Plus, a new club with a familiar sounding name gives kids a chance to build skills for their future early in life. That's coming up after the break. Stay with us. This is Ford Truck Month. Time to take a ride in the all-new 2021 Ford F-150 with an available 12-inch touchscreen, an available interior work surface, and for powerful performance on demand, a class-exclusive available Pro Power onboard mobile generator. These are America's best-selling trucks. This is Ford Truck Month. Inventory levels are coming back up, making Truck Month the time to get an F-150 with 0 for 72 and 1,000 retail order bonus. Trucks, trucks, trucks. Home Furniture and Design has truck after truck arriving daily with loads of Lazy Boy furniture. Come in and find a genuine Lazy Boy recliner, sofa, sectional, or power chair to kick back and relax and take it home with you today. The best recliner available in the world at amazing low prices. And you can pick it out and take it with you today at Home Furniture and Design, West Grand Avenue, Wisconsin Rapids and Post Road in Plover. Is it time for a new roof? Call Bear Renovations today to get on the schedule for this fall. The Bear is your certified roofing contractor and offers a full 50-year warranty on every shingle roof. Interested in metal roofing? Call the Bear for a free quote today at 715-224-3055 or go to bearrenovations.com. Call the Bear! Is pain preventing you from doing the things you love? Come to one of our free seminars and find out how our high-intensity laser therapy can help free you from the pain you've been trapped with. Join us at 2 o'clock at Hilton Garden Inn. They've done a tremendous amount for me. I'm thankful to them. I'm enjoying life just 100% better. Meet us October 28th in Wausau. Call 844-200-PAIN to reserve your seat today. I'm back.
back and thank you for joining me for your full Sunday night forecast. Ending the day with perfect Sunday weather. We had rich blue skies, not a cloud out there whatsoever. That has been in part due to surface high pressure working through the central United States today. And for the next couple of days, we will continue to enjoy this very mild stretch of weather. That does include tonight carrying on with clear skies all around that moon getting bigger and bigger by the night. So almost a full moon, pretty bright out there tonight. Expect widespread frost that's going to be from the north woods and down into central Wisconsin as most areas do settle with those low temperatures near freezing for overnight. So I do want to point out that the National Weather Service has issued a pretty broad frost advisory through much of central Wisconsin. You will notice this does not include the north woods still having frost. Yes, however, being done with the growing season, we are not having those advisories posted for the north woods anymore. So kind of think south of Highway 8. That's where we can still see some of those advisories for the next couple of days into later parts of this week. But for now, just know that uh, we are going to be dealing with that tonight, but maybe not even tomorrow as we do have warmer temperatures, but there will be more of those freezing temperatures later on. But before we get there tomorrow, we have 68 degrees for a high. It's going to be pretty warm tomorrow. There will be a couple of those warmer days in the front part of the week. Again, with mostly sunny skies, not many clouds at all. That rich blue sky returning yet again, but there will be clouds developing as we get into later parts of the week with those rain chances on the way. So looking at our Tuesday, waking on up after a day of clear skies, some clouds building overnight into our Tuesday we will be ending up with those low temperatures bottoming out near the middle 40s. So OK, so I don't think that tomorrow night we'll be talking about so much of those frost advisories as we are tonight because we are going to be a bit warmer, having a few more clouds working through the area. So here we go looking through our Tuesday a little further, not having an all day uh, cloud coverage. It will be kind of more of a sunny day, a little bit of those clouds passing through in the morning, though. But now by the middle of the afternoon, areas are touching 70 degrees. So we are going to be having a pretty warm Tuesday as far as the middle to late October goes. And then we are going to be having more clouds developing. So we are going to be trading out our surface high pressure for a low pressure center with a cold front that right now is over the west coast. This is going to be making a fast track towards the Great Lakes region, delivering our next chance for showers that will be coming as soon as Wednesday and could be lingering into Thursday morning. It won't be having a lot of moisture in the system necessarily, so we won't be expecting a ton of rainfall by any means, but I do want to show you those rain chances anyways. So here we go looking at Wednesday morning, just starting to get the ground wet into parts of western and southwestern Wisconsin. And now let's look at the rest of the day and we'll even run this all the way into Thursday morning. All right, so I do want to show you into Thursday seeing those total rainfall uh, amounts not even getting to a half an inch in most cases. That'll be mostly towards southwest Wisconsin where that rainfall did start up earlier on, but otherwise maybe a quarter of an inch of rain. Really not a lot of rainfall coming up this week and that's about it. So now I want to show you our Northwoods Furniture and Mattress seven day forecast. So that's it for rainfall into middle parts of the week Wednesday into Thursday morning. Before that, we're keeping up with those warmer temperatures, upper 60s, low 70s, overnight lows in the 40s while we're talking about frost tonight. But then as we go into later parts of the week, seeing those lows in the upper 20s to low 30s return along with more of those sunny skies into the weekend. Cooper? When you think of 4-H clubs, you might think all they do is raise animals and take them to the fair. Of course, that's not the case. Newswatch 12's Kyle Pozorski has details about a brand new addition to the 4-H community here in Oneida County. I had the clearest thinking, my heart to greater loyalty, my hands to larger service, my health to better living, for my club, my community, my country, and my world. There's a new 4-H community club in Oneida County. Their first meeting was held Sunday afternoon. They plan to meet once every month to grow the youth of northern Wisconsin into leaders, gain friends, and to learn new skills. And you can put your stickers there, and if there's something you want to do that isn't down there, then you can tell us. The overall goal of 4-H is to engage youth to reach their fullest potential while advancing the field of youth development. Community club leaders believe that the new club will help achieve that goal here in Rylander by exposing kids to new experiences. And there's a list of stuff over there and anything else you can think of too, we can do in 4-H. So anywhere from robotics to crafts to, I mean, it's really endless actually. 
In their inaugural meeting, club members participated in pumpkin painting as well as debating what the name will be. Packer Beckers or <laughs> Sweet Tooth, whatever. <laughs> whatever we say. <laughs> <say. laughs> or maybe Snack Poppers. No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> While at the meeting, club leadership positions were also chosen. Their next meeting will be a month from now on November 21st. Okay. <laughs> In Rhinelander, Kyle Pazorski, News Watch 12. It was a beautiful day here in the Northwoods, but there was some bitterness in the air. The NFL's oldest rivalry was taking place down in Chicago. Packers versus Bears, and our sports team was in the Windy City for today's game. Hey, Cooper, what a game here at Soldier Field. The rookie Justin Fields against number 12, the MVP Aaron Rodgers. And I think Rodgers showed he's still the best quarterback in this division. Yeah, easily in the division, still maybe the whole entire league. And he let everybody know about it today. We'll have highlights and post-game reaction coming up next in sports. Come to Carpet City Flooring Center's biggest sale ever and receive free carpet installation along with an additional $300, $600, or even $1,000 of savings on all flooring products and sale prices. That's right, free carpet installation and an additional savings of up to $1,000 on top of the sale prices. See why contractors and designers only choose Carpet City Flooring Center for their flooring needs. Our prices will floor you. I'm Joe Cook. I'm lead over midday. I've been with Merrill Steel for six and a half years. What I'm looking for in new employees is motivation. Be proactive. If you want to learn something here, you'll move up quick. We have great benefits. We have a flex schedule. I can't think of another place that you can work where you get to set your own hours. You get to work on some really awesome stuff. Things that other places around here would never touch. We're building America. Dear Exit Strategy, all your pieces are in place. A tranquil lake, a serene sky, an emerald forest, a secret hideout. Thanks for being there just when I need you most. Always Toyota SUVs. Get 1.9% APR for 60 months on a new CHR, Sienna, RAV4, Venza, or Highlander. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Sweetwater Spirits and Resort is open throughout the year. Dine in with a great view of Duck Lake. Carryout is also available. Enjoy broasted chicken, shrimp, burgers, pizza, Friday night fish fry, and Saturday night prime rib. Great happy hour deals Monday through Friday from 3 to 6 and live music on the weekends. Sweetwater Spirits and Resort is family friendly and opens at 11 a.m. daily. Find us on Facebook to view nightly specials. The Green Bay Packers were able to pick up a win against the Chicago Bears earlier today. Newswatch 12 sports team Nate Myhock and Griffin Strain were in the Windy City and have more. The 203rd career matchup between these two NFL franchises, the Packers and the Bears. It is the oldest rivalry in the league, and it lived up to the hype today. Yeah, and like we've kind of become used to over the years, tight game kind of went down to the wire as well. Yeah, I mean, the Packers going into the game had a one-game lead advantage in the NFC North, so there was a lot at stake in this game. Yeah, plus the four-game winning streak entering Sunday, and also we saw a beginning of a new era in the Bears-Packers rivalry as the Bears let the rookie Justin Fields take his first career start against the Green Bay Packers. And the young guy would lead the Bears down the field on their opening drive, but they turn to Khalil Herbert who runs it in from a yard out. The Bears lead 7-0. The first couple of Green Bay drives would end with punts due to that Chicago defensive line. Two early sacks against Aaron Rodgers, and the Packers just couldn't seem to get anything going in the first quarter. And the Bears looked like they were on their way to extending their lead, but Justin Fields would throw an interception to Darnell Savage. However, it looked like Green Bay caught a break as the refs did not throw a flag for offsides. And that may have woken up the Packer offense after a slow start. They find the end zone with a funky little play design. Rodgers, the shovel pass to Alan Lazard. It's 7-7. After a defensive stop, the Packers turned to their running back to start moving the football. Following an A.J. Dillon run for 36 yards, 
and an Aaron Jones reception on third and 15. This pass is caught by Equinemius St. Brown, but he would be called for offensive pass interference. Packers would have to settle for three instead. Aaron Rodgers entered halftime with only 73 passing yards, but Green Bay held a three-point lead, and once Green Bay got the ball in the third quarter, they mixed it up with a run and pass, and why not marry the two? The running back, Aaron Jones, becoming a receiver, a 12-yard touchdown. The Packers' lead grew to 10. Coming into today's matchup, the Packers were without a few key players in the lineup, and it got even worse with Darnell Savage and others going down with injuries in this game. But the Packers are taking that same mindset of next man up. You just, you, you got to have that next man mentality, next man up mentality. And I think our guys do that. And um, they take a lot of pride in what they do. And they put the work in each and every week. And our coaches are working hard to get everybody prepared. So it's, it's a pretty... Um, it's a great team effort by everybody. Green Bay had a chance to go up three scores near the end of the third quarter, but Akeem Hicks would get home for the team's third sack of the day. A day full of ups and downs for the Packer offensive line, but at the end of it, they held up well enough. It's Lucas Patrick being able to go in there and um, against a, I think one of the best fronts in football. I mean, that front, it doesn't matter who's in there for them. They are ferocious. The Bears would battle back to make it a three-point game in the fourth quarter. A Fields to Darnell Mooney touchdown strike made the score 17 to 14. And when the offense needed him the most, Devontae Adams showed up, hauling in a 41-yard pass to put Green Bay just outside of the red zone. He was inches away from a touchdown. Moments where you make a subtle adjustment, you look over at the guy, and it's a stud like 17, and, and he just went like this. So I just, like the whole body started tingling, I just knew it was going to be, it was going to be one of those special plays. Rodgers would then take things into his own hands, or should I say feet, scrambling for a six-yard touchdown, and he let the crowd know he still owns them. I looked up in the stands, and in the front row, all I saw was a woman giving me the double bird. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not sure exactly what came out of my mouth next. The Bears needed the offense to score to keep this game alive, but the big fella, Kenny Clark, came up huge for the green and gold. Two sacks on the speedy field, and just like that, this game is over. Packers win 24-14. to So Nate Rodgers improves to 22-5 against the Bears. He obviously loves playing in the city of Chicago, and he loves playing right here at Soldier Field. Of course, and actually on Sunday, through his 57th career touchdown pass against the Bears, that's the most he has against any team in the NFL. And with the win, the Packers' record is going to improve to 5-1, which is huge. But next up, they got the Washington football team. It's going to be a tough game in Lambeau. And of course, that's another team with a, a great defensive line like we saw against Chicago. So here's hoping the Packers offensive line can help keep Rodgers' jersey a little cleaner next week. Sure, but in sure. the meantime, that's going to do it for week six in Chicago. I'm Nate Myhock, and that is Griffin Stroy. In America, the future belongs to everyone. So we built the SUV of the future for everyone. Ford Edge, with all new Sync 4A with a 12-inch touchscreen and available enhanced active park assist, it's built to make life easier. Because the SUV of the future isn't built for a few, it's built for America. Ford Edge, drive one today. Now, choose FlexBuy on Ford Edge and get 0% APR financing for 66 months, plus 500 cash only at your local Ford dealer. Roll into Nick's Hot Egg Lanes at Rhinelander for a night of fun. With 20 lanes available, you'll have plenty of space to enjoy with friends and family. Looking for more competition? Join a bowling league. At Nick's Hot Egg Lanes, bowling isn't the only fun activity available. Check out the Dart League, Cornhole League, Golf Simulators, Game Room, Pool Tables, and more. With two full-service bars and TVs, Nick's Hot Egg Lanes is a perfect place to stop and to watch a game. Host your next event at Nick's Hot Egg Lanes in Rhinelander. At U.S. Cellular, we know the local landscape, so we can help everyone stay connected for less. And less also means more, as in more choice. While the other guys may limit your options, at U.S. Cellular, you choose any phone and we make it free. That's right. Visit our store and any phone you see is free. Plus, get unlimited data for $30 a month and get the most out of our state-of-the-art network, wherever you choose to go. U.S. Cellular, America's locally grown wireless. At the age of 10, I put my hand into a piece of fire machinery and it took my hand off basically like a glove. Shai is very compassionate, caring. 
he'll do anything for you. Shy is one in a million. Just give him a call, because I've went 48 years, never, never knowing there was something I could get done. Why wait another day? Let's take the next step together towards a better life. Planning an exciting outdoor excursion? You need the app from the weather team you can rely on, the WJFW Weather Watch app, featuring hourly and daily forecasts, high-resolution imagery, and opt-in push alerts to let you know when severe weather approaches. With all these features, you'll know the best days to cast a line or when it will be perfect to explore the wilderness. The WJFW Weather Watch app is available in your app store now. Weather Watch 12, from where you live. NASA just launched Lucy's space mission toward Jupiter's orbit. Researchers hope it will help them learn more about the history of our solar system. Kristen Fisher reports. Three, two, one, liftoff. Atlas V takes flight. So Lucy is finally in the sky. The NASA spacecraft is on a 12-year mission covering 6.4 billion kilometers to fly past eight ancient asteroids. Lucy's the first mission to investigate the Trojan asteroid swarms, which are asteroid clusters along Jupiter's orbital path. Armed with cameras, a thermometer, and an infrared imaging spectrometer, Lucy will collect the first high-resolution images of these asteroids. The spacecraft gets her name from the Lucy fossil, an ancient human ancestor whose remains transformed the study of hominid evolution. NASA hopes its Lucy transforms the understanding of the evolution of the solar system. Both the fossil and the spacecraft's name are nods to the Beatles hit, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. Lucy is going back in the sky with diamonds. Johnny will love that. Anyway, if you meet anyone up there, Lucy, give them peace and love from me. And Lucy does indeed carry a diamond as part of a beam splitter assembly. About three and a half years from now, after making a few flybys of Earth for a gravity slingshot boost, Lucy's expected to reach her first objective, an asteroid named Donald Johansson, in the asteroid belt between Earth and Jupiter. She'll then travel to the Trojan asteroids, all named after the heroes of Homer's Iliad. The power of what Lucy is able to do by having so many targets, we can construct all these comparisons between all the different varieties and the diversity that we see in the Trojans, the unexpected diversity, the different colors, the different collisional histories. It's really a repository of uh, fossils, as we like to say, of things that happened at the earliest stages of solar system evolution. The spacecraft, a little more than 14 meters from tip to tip, is powered by two giant solar arrays that'll expand outward like Chinese folding fans. They'll carry Lucy farther away from the sun than any other solar-powered spacecraft. Lucy will never return to Earth, but she won't be the last to visit the asteroids. NASA plans to send more. China and Russia are teaming up on an asteroid mission in 2024 and the UAE in 2028. The unknown is not empty. It's a storm that crashes and consumes replacing thought with worry. But one thing can calm uncertainty, an answer. Uncovered through exploration, teamwork, and innovation. An answer that leads to even more answers. Mayo Clinic, you know where to go. The Ufta Sign Store has over 1,000 different signs. Signs for any occasion or any location in your home. Man cave, cabin, she shack, bedroom, you name it. With popular signs like Coke, Pepsi, Mountain Dew, Elvis, Wizard of Oz, Three Stooges, John Wayne, Marilyn Monroe, Jack Daniels, Budweiser, Miller, Coors, Hams, Four Cripes. That's a lot of signs. The Ufta Sign Store, located in Rothschild, near Harbor Freight. Great gifts for friends and family. Yeah, yeah, you betcha. At Menards, we have everything you need to create the bathroom of your dreams. Get a spacious and modern shower with Sterling. These showers, tubs, and doors are durable, easy to clean, and now all 11% off. Complete your home updates with DAP Silicone Sealant. It provides a watertight, flexible seal that won't crack or shrink. Save today with 11% off all DAP products. Get 11% off everything at Menards. Save big money at Menards. 
Every living creature on Earth needs Mother Nature's water for survival. From the family pet, whether it's the dog, our fish in a fish tank, to the precious little munchkins running around, for seven decades, Maher Water Corporation has been supplying and treating this water for the entire family with products made here in Wisconsin by Water Care. So call us today for the cleanest, safest water around. Have you written a book? You can become a published author with Dorrance Publishing, the nation's oldest publishing services company. Our professional team will edit your text, design your book pages, and create an appealing, eye-catching custom cover. Plus, our authors benefit from a custom book promotion marketing campaign that makes your book available where people buy books, like Amazon and brick-and-mortar bookstores. So make this free call right now to claim your free author's guide to publishing. Call right now. Welcome back to a final look at your forecast. I do want you to know that there is gonna be widespread frost going through the area tonight, but only that frost advisory in effect for central Wisconsin. So we won't be seeing those advisories for the North Woods, but know that there will be that frost widespread nonetheless. And then coming up for the rest of our Monday, we will be having after that frost, sunny skies and high temperatures reaching for 70 degrees, looking for a high at 68 here in Rhinelander with a light southwest breeze near five to 10 miles an hour. After that, we'll have one more even warmer day that's going to be on Tuesday, looking for a high of 69. After that, we're down to the 50s and 60s with rain chances. It's the middle parts of the week, Cooper's. So I don't think, you know, needing rain gear all day, but definitely be weather aware as there is going to be that rainfall on Wednesday. All right. Well, I'm looking forward to those warm days before then. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Megan and Morgan, I'm sorry, Sierra. <laughs> we'll be back with your morning news shortly.